Raider Nation. I'm back in this thing. Real time Raiders back in this shit. What's up with y'all? I know everybody out there turned up, having a good time after the draft. It's a lot of crazy shit going on right now. We talking about Casey Hayward talk coming over here. We talking about Aaron Rodgers coming over here. Man, we just got seven new players and all of that shit, man. Look, I'm about to get in all of that shit. I ain't going to make this too long either. But before I even go, man, hey, like, subscribe, get down in the comment section, talk your shit. Anything I say in this video, I want y'all to reply to, argue. I don't give a fuck, man. You, you, you don't see things how I see it. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. Well, let's talk about some shit, all right? For number one, all right, let's get into this Aaron Rodgers shit. All right, let's start there. Aaron Rodgers, right? Boy, look, I know I done touched on it already, but very briefly. But let's get into it. Let's really get this out on the table right now, all right? I love Derek Carr, bro. Ever since we got Derek Carr, I thought Derek Carr was going to be our next fucking franchise quarterback. Even throughout all of the years and all of the controversy and all of the bullshit that we've had to go through with losing under Derek Carr as our quarterback, I still found ways to defend this motherfucker, all right? Not necessarily because I wanted to either. I really did look at the numbers. I really did check stats. I really did make sure that he was worth defending. And throughout the years, I think that, you know, he, he's pretty solid. As far as I'm concerned, I think he's a solid quarterback. I think he can he can take you far. I think he can do some things that other quarterbacks can't do. You know what I'm saying? I think he's deadly fucking accurate. I, I'm cool with Derek Carr being my quarterback. But when we start talking about Aaron Rodgers, bro, this is where shit gets spooky for me. All right? Because I've been watching this team for a long time, dog. I've been watching us, like, since a fucking kid. Since a baby, bro. Like, I... And, Man, like outside of that fucking Super Bowl against the fucking Bucks, and we got scraped, I ain't really seen too much greatness or excellence come from this commitment to this fucking team. All right? Aaron Rodgers is a whole nother level, man. That's a whole nother level of quarterback. This is some shit that happened, bro, back in the day. This, this is some shit that I'm... I'm pretty sure that John Gruden is looking at this and he wants to do it so fucking bad, bro. I'm I'm sure John Gruden wants to do this. I know. I know. Bro, I, look, I'm willing to bet. Fuck, I don't know. I'm not going to say I know like I know this motherfucker John Gruden. I don't know. I ain't speak to John Gruden. John Gruden ain't called my phone. No. But I'm saying, quarterback guru, how he feels about quarterbacks and all that other shit, boy, y'all got to know. He is wanting to do that shit. He wants to. He wants Aaron Rodgers on this team, bro. I know it. That and then that comes down to it. What, what y'all want? You know, I hear a lot of speculation. Whether it's Aaron Rodgers is thirty-seven or Aaron Rodgers, you know, he owed this much money and whoop whoop whoop, whoop and all of this other shit, right? My question to y'all is, um, given the fact that he is thirty-seven years old. I understand he's 37 and all of that other shit. But if y'all know that this man is better than Derek Carr, granted, even if it's for the next two to three years that he's better than Derek Carr, what do y'all want? Do y'all really want to wait that two to three years and see if you can make it happen with DC? Or do you want to get this motherfucker now and have even that higher of a chance to at least make it to the motherfucking AFC Championship. Goddamn. At least get to the playoffs. Goddamn. Can we do something like that? I mean, I understand the defense is a motherfucker. And we can't. And I'm not going to sit here and hold you. I'm not going to say, oh, Aaron Rodgers is the end-all, be-all. Because it's not. it's not. It's not true. I would be a hypocrite. Just like I told y'all before. Many times before. It don't matter who the fuck is our quarterback. If we can't stop no motherfuckers from beating us. With 19 seconds left on the clock, being all the way down the motherfucking field, if we can't be, if we can't do that shit, we ain't going no motherfucking where. So it doesn't matter who the fuck back there. But but hear me out now. Got Gus Bradley, 
We got a couple new pieces on the defensive side of the ball. We got Yannick. Rumors now they're talking about Casey Hayward. You know we got a little bit of veteran veteran presence in the backfield and in, in the secondary. Man. Man. I understand we're talking about what happens if we give D.C. a top 15 or a top 20 defense. But what the fuck happens when you give Aaron Rodgers a top 15, top 20 defense? Bro, that's a hard that's a hard decision to make for me. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm cool with it. Look, either way this goes, I'm cool with it. As long as it's not no fucking, hey, we're going to give up D.C., Josh Jacobs, Henry Ruggs, Five first round picks, motherfucking uh um our 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 seat at the dinner table. We giving up our shoes, nigga. We giving up everything. As long as we not doing none of that stupid shit, as long as we ain't giving up our life and selling our soul for this shit. If it's a good deal, bro. If it's something that I could manage. If it's a couple first rounders, especially how we do first rounders, we can look. As long as we got our second round picks, I think we pretty straight. I think we're pretty straight because, look, look, we pick second rounders in the first round any fucking way. So I'm saying, what what value do we really have at that first round pick? Even if we and if we do got Aaron Rodgers, we talking about um, we trying to win. We talking about picking later on in the draft. We're not even talking about those first round picks being hella high. We talking about those first round picks being damn near early second round picks. So you know, you kind of got to weigh that out a little bit when you talk about giving up first round picks because it because it changes your mindset a little different it changes it differently because if you're saying hey you're gonna give up Derek Carr and the next two years of um pick 28 and 30 I'm pretty sure y'all gonna think about this a little bit differently outside of just saying first round picks because when you say first round picks that shit fucks with people a little bit different that that makes people think of like top 10 and shit like that like no, bro, your first round picks could be late. And if you would have gave up DC and pick 28, 29, and 30 for Aaron Rodgers, and you pick up a quarterback next year to go to groom under Aaron Rodgers, like you literally tell Aaron Rodgers, don't do what Green Bay did. Don't do no fuck shit that Green Bay did to Aaron Rodgers. Like you literally tell Aaron Rodgers before he even signs, bitch, we giving you, we we gonna sign you, but we are definitely drafting a quarterback next year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like something like that. I think that will work out for Aaron Rodgers, bro. I think that will work out. I think it will work out. Do I want it to happen? No, because I love DC, man, and I'm cool with how I'm cool with having DC as my quarterback, bro. I'm cool with it. But if you saying that we, but if you talking about getting Aaron Rodgers right now, ah, uh, bro, bro, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all in y'all fucking face, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you in your face and tell you I would not be excited. I'm not. I'm not. I've been watching us lose for way too fucking long, dog. And we've had Derek Carr since 20 motherfucking 14. And we've thrown every excuse under the sun at this motherfucker. No receivers, no defense, no this, no that, fucking anything, bruh. And it gets to a point to where you're like, all right, all right. Because it puts more pressure on DC for me now. Because now I'm looking at DC, I'm like, bitch, all right, cool. If we, we had a chance to get Aaron Rodgers and we go this year and we don't make the playoffs... And then what y'all going to be talking about? Oh, let's just get rid of D.C. and let's draft another quarterback. Bro, we're starting all over again. Like, at least, you know, let's try to, you know, let's, let's, let's try to, it's like a relay race, bro. Instead of starting all the way at the fuck at the beginning all over again, let's pass the baton to a motherfucker that's the anchor. That could be the anchor of this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Again, I'm just a motherfucker making YouTube videos. So, I don't know. But... I do know that that motherfucker's better than Derek Carr. I love Derek Carr, but there's no comparison when it comes to what I what I feel about the two quarterbacks, bro. And I think that John Gruden would fucking love that. Um, so that's where I'm at with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> that's where I'm at with Aaron Rodgers. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, also great. Uh, but I'm not going to be the one to be like, oh, fuck that. I don't want Aaron Rodgers. I can't say that. I can't say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do that shit at all. All right, so fuck that. Let's go to the Casey Hayward shit. Casey Hayward, uh, the news ain't confirmed yet. It's been all over the fucking place that we got Casey Hayward. 
That'd be a dope ass signing. I think it'd be a great veteran presence to have in the uh, in the secondary. Um, I hope I hope it comes comes true. I hope the confirmation comes through uh, sometime today. That'd be great. And that's all I really got to say about that because <laughs> we don't got no confirmation. So I can't. I'm not gonna sit here and speculate on what could be. When it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then fuck it. We got to move on. Sherm is still an option. We still got a couple motherfuckers that's an option. But I hear Sherm wants a hundred million dollars. In a fucking dragon with a castle full of gold in order to fucking sign this motherfucker for the next two years. And I'm cool off, I'm cool off of that. So, nah, nah, we're, we're not doing that. Um, draft. Let's go. I'm going to review this draft real quick. Man, everybody was fucking tripping off the first round pick. I was told, I told y'all in the first fucking, uh, in my top five options um, for the first round video, I told y'all. Don't be surprised if we get a motherfucker that you ain't. You ain't really looking at like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't be surprised if we pick him up. And that's what the fuck we did. I got frustrated because it was motherfuckers on the board that I wanted. It was motherfuckers on the board that would have been great to have. Especially knowing that we got married in the second round too. Fuck. We would have been nice. But, again, I'm not, I, I'm not a talent evaluator. I am a fan of this fucking team. I love this team. Def. Um, inked up all of that shit. It's, I love this motherfucking team. I love the shit talk. I love being the underdog. I love motherfuckers that talk shit to me all the time for being a Raider fan. I, I love it. I love all y'all shit talk. I love everybody that, that get on my head about it. But you know what, motherfucker? This is going to be the squad. <laughs> this is going to be the motherfucking squad. And we got some dogs now. We got some dogs. I don't give a fuck about what the media is saying. The media is always talking shit. Talking shit about our draft class, talking shit about this, talking shit about that. Fuck the media and what they got to say. I, hey, I read an article a couple weeks ago talking about, oh, a redo. If they can do a redo of the 2020 draft. And guess what receiver they had us taking instead of Henry Ruggs? Wasn't Jerry Judy. And it wasn't C.D. Lamb. It was a motherfucker that went in the second round. They said that if... If they were here today, the Raiders should have drafted Chase Claypool. Now, understand this. Understand this shit, right? Understand um, the slew of receivers, number one, that they got in Pittsburgh. That's one, number one. But also, understand this. If we would have drafted Chase Claypool, where we drafted Henry Ruggs, what do you think they would have called it? Because they was already calling Henry Ruggs a motherfucking reach. So what do you think they would have called Chase Claypool? Oh my God, what the fuck are the Raiders doing? Yeah, and, and the talent of seeing Chase Claypool, yeah, that motherfucker's good. That motherfucker's definitely a first-round talent for me. As far as rookie is concerned, he's, de he's, he's a fucking baller, bro. So, yeah, he's definitely first round, but he went in the second. Does that fucking... Why does that... How do, how do y'all figure y'all are any kind of right if y'all were saying that we should have took, took a motherfucking receiver that y'all had projected not even going in the first round before it? But now, all of a sudden, since a year later has passed, oh, we should have drafted Chase Claypool. Get the fuck out my face. Get the fuck out my face. We don't know what the fuck none of this shit is going to be. Uh, we don't know what none of these players are going to be about. Until they hit the field, until they get hit in the mouth, until they take a couple injuries, until they can bounce back, until they can win the game, until they can, until they can make an impact, until we can see that, oh, we know what this motherfucker's about. We not going to know, bro. We not gonna fucking know. So yes, all of these names sound great. All of these names sound dope as fuck. But so did Tim Tebow. So did Blake Bortles. So did all of these fucking big ass names. And where are these motherfuckers at now? One of one of them motherfuckers is about to go play tight end. I heard or some shit. The last time I heard, this motherfucker ain't even a quarterback no more. So let's 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 chill with the um, oh who reached and who won the draft. We are gonna see who won the draft in a couple years. We not. I don't even know why we even talking about who won the draft. It sounds stupid to me to say who won the draft right now when we talk about a bunch of fucking rookies. These motherfuckers don't even. They don't. They ain't never played an NFL snap in their life, so they don't know. They don't even know what it's gonna be about. So let's chill on who won the draft. All right. Now, as far as how I feel about my draft picks, I think we did fucking well. I think we got some solid ass draft picks all throughout the fucking seventh. Every everybody. Even the even the undrafted free agents, the fucking BYU tight end Bushman. I think he's dope. I think he's gonna he's gonna grow into something one day once he learn how to fucking block. Darius Steels. I think he's gonna be fucking nice. He's pissed off too. He's gonna be fucking dope, bro. I I think that we got uh we got value where we needed to get value 
First round went over, not so well for the whole world. Second round came about, it was like it was like John Gruden and Mayock. I thought them motherfuckers was up there having the time of their life. I thought they was laughing and everything at us. <laughs> I was like, them motherfuckers was laughing at us. They probably up there like, hey, here. Here's your fucking pick. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up now. <laughs> That's what I feel like. That's what I felt personally attacked when they picked him as in the second round. They jumped in front of Dallas to pick him. That was probably my favorite part. We jumped in front of Dallas to do it. So all my Dallas fans, fuck y'all. That's what y'all get. We jumped y'all and we took y'all, man. <laughs> so that shit was dope, bro. That shit was dope. And don't even hit me with the old what Stephen, J- uh, Stephen Jones said. They wasn't going to pick him. Yes, the fuck y'all were. Shut up. So look, and we would have been sick. Y'all would have had Michael Parsons and motherfucking Trayvon Merrick. Oh, we would have been sick, but fuck y'all because it didn't happen. We got Trayvon Merrick in a second. I think he's going to be dope, but again, that's just a thought of mine. That's just a projection of mine. From what I see and what I look at this dude, when I see him play college ball, he looks like he can fucking, he can do something in, in the NFL for us. He looks like he is exactly what the fuck we need. Is it going to translate? I can't tell y'all that yet. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh yeah, we finna be solid. Because I, I don't know. I don't know. He can be ass. This motherfucker could be complete cheeks by week two. We already know. But nah, we, we don't know, bro. We don't know. So I'm going to chill. The fucking uh, M- Malcolm Coons pick, I love that fucking pick. I love that fucking pick. Malcolm Coons and the fucking Diablo pick, I love those picks, bro. The Diablo pick, uh, I'm a little on the fence about because that shit reminds me of Tanner Muse a little bit. And we didn't fucking see anything from Tanner Muse. It's like we just got two of these motherfuckers. Now, it does make me excited, though, because we got two options at that that position. Obviously, John Gruden wants to run that element. Or I don't know if it's John Gruden or if it's fucking Gus Bradley. But somebody wants that element on defense. That hybrid safety linebacker kind of guy, right? This season, I think we're going to see that play out. Let's see what let's see what happens, bro. Let's just see what happens. Because we haven't been able to see that happen over the last couple seasons. So let's see what happens, what they do. But I'm pretty sure they're going to have them competing with each other. So let them compete. Let them do their thing. I think that was a great fucking pick. The Gillespie pick, um, I didn't know too much about Gillespie. I'm not going to lie. But after doing some research on Gillespie and, and after understanding, hey, man, we need more depth at that fucking position, I was cool with it. He's not, I don't see him as a ball hawk. I don't see him out there getting 10 picks a game or nothing like that. But I see him as uh, being ready. I see him as being fast as fuck and knowing what he needs to do. So Gillespie, I'm cool with. Nate Hobbs, who knows, bro? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I know he out there talking his shit. And that's cool. It sounds good. But hey, man. We was here last year. Amik Robertson. Bro, Amik Robertson, when we got Amik Robertson, that motherfucker was talking his shit. Amik Robertson was making us feel like, nigga, we just got the next one. Ain't nobody throwing to Amik's side. Bruh, have we seen that shit come to fruition? Has that shit translated? Has any of that shit talk translated, bro? Nah, it is not. It is not translated yet, bro. So I'm going to chill. Especially when you go back and you, hey, go back and look at Amik Robertson's like, highlights and his fucking uh his college tape from back in like from college role like go look at that shit go look at that shit now and and, see, and it's gonna it's gonna fuck you up it's gonna be like damn bro we got that dude on our team <laughs> we got that dude on our team what the fuck we shouldn't be fucking ass on defense no but that's that's what i'm saying we gotta wait to see how all of this shit play out the coaches involved i know Milas, the fucking db coach i know he's gonna play a big part in this I know Gus Bradley's going to play a big part in this. So let's just see what we're talking about first. Let's hit the field, man. But as far as building the roster, as far as all of that shit is concerned, I'm liking the direction of where we at, bro. I'm liking the direction of where we at. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to sit here and do what all the fucking media do. Oh, bottom fucking five or y'all ass or whatever. Man, fuck y'all. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all don't watch this team like we do. So... I'm going to keep fucking with my dudes on YouTube. I'm going to keep fucking with the Raider content creators out there that know what the fuck they're talking about. Because all of these motherfuckers online and on TV, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Fuck yeah. All right? Because <laughs> y'all don't know. Y'all don't know shit. So, hey, let's hold on. Let's see what we talking about. Let's continue to build this squad. Let's continue to pray that Aaron Rodgers does not go to Denver. And... Let's just do that shit. 
Let's just do that shit, man. Let's keep let's keep worrying about the Raiders and let's keep building our shit. Fuck what everybody else talking about. Cuz I think I think we got some solid ass pieces in this draft and I think throughout the next couple seasons they're going to grow and they're going to be nice. All right? So, if I and if I had to give y'all I'm going to give y'all two of my favorite picks out of this draft. Y'all already know Merrick is my number 1. Merrick is my number 1 favorite pick out of this draft. But my number 2 favorite pick is that Malcolm Coons pick. Malcolm Coons is nice, bro. That motherfucker is nice. I wasn't too familiar with him at first. I heard his name buzzing around, but I didn't really know about him. So after we picked him and I and I got to learn a little bit more about him, did some research on bro. He is not Khalil Mack, but boy, does he got he looks familiar. <laughs> he look, he's not Khalil Mack, bro. Production wise, talent and all of that other shit, he ain't he's not Khalil Mack. But damn, does he he kind of looks similar to that dude, bro. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know. I don't know. I could be. I could be on some bullshit myself. Let me down. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if I'm on some bullshit. Okay. But that dude, I'm not saying. I, I, I'm not saying he's Khalil Mack. I'm not comparing them to Khalil Mack, bro. I'm just saying I've seen that before, and I've seen him wear number fifty-two for our team. He, he he wasn't that small like this dude is, but this dude Malcolm Coons, uh. We might be, we might we might be doubling back on uh, talking about Malcolm Cook for the next couple of seasons, bro. He might be a big a, a big piece of how this moves. So I wouldn't be surprised, man. Wouldn't be surprised, especially learning under Yannick. That's gonna be fucking great, man. That's gonna be great. But I'm already at 20 minutes, man. Let's chop this shit down, bro. I appreciate y'all if y'all stayed this far again, man. Like, subscribe, all of that shit. We just we just just now starting, bro. We about to have fun and this and this shit draft is over with. All of that. We about to turn up when this season starts. So much respect, much love to all y'all, man, and I'm out, bro. I'll holla at y'all.